you for releasing my co-host so we can continue on with the show. He burst onto the big screen as the mysterious Christian Grey in Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. Now he's taking a new kind of role in the thriller Anthropoid. Please welcome Jamie Dornan. Yes. <laughs> Staying in a hotel last week in uh, London, and I left my uh, wash bag behind. I so I've had to get a wash bag. What do you yeah. call? What do you call? They call them a, a, a toilet kit. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. You mm -hmm. didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't. I call it a toiletry bag. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm very generic. Yeah, so I lost everything, so I have to like re like start again. Well, I'm glad you started again with whatever that is. Yeah, thank you. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah, you, so uh, you've had some big stuff going on. We were actually just talking about you know, kids in the opener, but you just welcomed another uh, another yeah, shot yeah, in your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, so nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we've got uh, two little girls now, so it's two girls. Ah. Yeah, it's pretty uh, insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what's it like going from one to two? Because you know, um, kids are like cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you, you're usually after two cocktails. That's when you're in your like prime. Yeah. You know, I think my one of my best friends said that one, one is a pet, two's a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that makes sense. But yeah, I don't buy into that totally. I think I mean it's been a big adjustment, and uh, it's definitely harder, and you get less time to yourself. But um, I think human beings are very good at adaptation, and mm -hmm. you just yeah. sort of, you just have. What can you do? You have to just go with it, and like. You know, accept less sleep and accept less time in your hands and accept less like reading of books and washing and yeah. all the usual things you do in a yeah, day. Yeah. Are you one of those? Are you one of those dads who now is going to go for number three? You're going to go for your boy, or are you content with the two girls? <laughs> He's going to we get Kids are like cocktails. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. And often um, happen with cocktails. Yes, exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, I always thought I'd want a boy because. Uh, um, I don't know. I just I think as a guy, you just think oh, I'll have a little like um, mini version of myself yeah. or something in a really sort of narcissistic way. And then, um, <laughs> but then once you've had girls, I can't imagine having another. You know, yeah. you know. Uh, can I tell you something? Yeah. So Regis Philbin used to have this great uh, theory about babies, yeah. which I'm gonna repeat now because it just made me laugh then, <laughs> and still it still makes me laugh. He said whoever was the sexual aggressor during. The act, that's what you this. get. <laughs> Doesn't say much for me, really. He, he also had two daughters, so he really <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take your hand off the wheel. Yeah, maybe. You remember a big, uh, big uh, life-changing honor happened to you? You were recently voted uh, second, second place, second place in the hottest rear end of the year. <laughs> To be honest, I only found out of it this esteemed accolade yesterday <laughs> yeah. uh, when they were doing like the research call for this, yeah. and uh, I had no idea. Um, yeah. Tom Hiddleston, I believe. This is um, an outrage. That is a disgrace. <laughs> I mean, they, they didn't even, you know, it wasn't a fair contest. I no, mean, it's not. It's like they should put us both like beside each other. Well, we didn't. We didn't want you to, to walk away feeling like you were just second best. So That's right. we here at the show have actually we prepared a trophy. Yeah, you're you're the best prize. You are. You are. You are no. Who's the master? Get my head on, man. 